I think I need a jump start. Hi there, I'm Chris. Welcome to Jumpstart. Today we're going to be chatting about how the National Energy Skills Center, the NESC, can help you jumpstart your career in the energy and industrial sectors, or maybe even start your own business. Today we will be chatting with Anila Mahabir, the instructor for drilling rig operations. Hi Anila, welcome to Jumpstart. Hi Chris, it's nice to be here. Awesome. My first question is usually, are you a morning person or do you need help to jumpstart your day? I am a morning person. However, I do have a ritual I follow every day. So I always have my cup of tea, some positive affirmations and a bit of meditation because I know it's going to be a very hectic day. Okay, wow. So you do a lot in the morning. Meanwhile, yeah. I'm like rolling off my bed and <laughs> rushing to the shower because I need to leave home in 20 minutes. <laughs> um, Anila. How, I understand that you have about seven years experience at the NESE as a lecturer in drilling rig operations. But prior to that, you spent some time in the industry. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Right, so prior to working at the NESE Drilling Academy, I worked at Tucker Energy Services, where I was an open hole service engineer. So I was out in the field a lot. I spent a lot of hours um, gaining experience and knowledge about um, in specifically wireline operations. So what made you switch? What prompted you to switch from industry and come into education to share your knowledge? Well, I wanted to impart the knowledge and experience that I gained out in the field in a classroom with students and to help them um, while they were learning the drilling operations. Okay, I imagine that that is probably an area that is very male dominated. Are uh, students surprised when they see a woman standing in front of them on the first day of class? Actually, they, yes, they're always surprised to see a female in standing in front of them. However, over the years, there have been an increase in the number of female students and persons even working in the oil and gas industry and drilling. So, I mean, it's something that um, trainees will get accustomed to if they haven't already. Okay, and it's excellent to hear that there are more women entering the field. You yes. know, we need to be represented. Definitely. Tell me a little bit about your approach to your classes. How do you make students become engaged with the contents? Right, so at the moment we have online training. So that in itself is a different approach, very unique things you have to try, which should include um, games so when i say games it's actually interactive sessions online where they get a chance to not just answer questions but have a little fun so because they're not really getting to meet their colleagues or students but they could still have fun while they're learning um, when we had a blended approach then they had a chance to learn online and then actually come out into the campus where we have both theory and practical sessions that are set up for them. So in the classroom, we would cover a bit of theory on the technical aspects, and then whatever they learn, we would take them out to the rig. So we have an actual live drilling rig at the academy where a drilling crew is hired and they assist in teaching the trainees all these different rig activities. Sounds awesome. And that's what's going to happen in September, right? We're going to be doing that blended learning system where they do the theory online and then they get the excitement of being on the rig or in the workshop. Yes, most definitely, around. most definitely, because that's one of the um, things that's most attractive to trainees and rightly so, because there's no other country in this hemisphere where um, you would have trainees getting an opportunity to go on a rig and do training like that. So they get to do tripping operations. They get to um, make and break connections. They do maintenance on mud pumps. They do transferring of fluid from one tank to the next. So all these activities that take place on a rig out there in the field so that they get that opportunity to learn both in a classroom or online and then go out there on a rig and perform. Is there opportunity, Is there job? are there job opportunities for these graduates when they leave after two years? Yes, so, you know, um, there have been concerns about, um, you know, are there any reserves, all these questions they keep hearing. They're always gonna be 
reserves and discovered reserves, you're always going to have opportunities, right? You're going to have highs and lows, but there are going to be opportunities. So the trainees, are, the curriculum, I should say, is set up in such a way that um, it gives your trainees core competencies and skills to either continue a career in the oil and gas industry or even commence a career in it. So when they're finished, they could be hired to work on a rig, even at the entry level as a rust about, um, as a roughneck, um, even as a mechanic. With experience, they could go out to be, you know, your direct man, assistant, driller, etc. In fact, some of our trainees have been hired by service companies and they have been given um, we have been given very good feedback about them and the training that they have received at the Drilling Academy. Wow, that sounds like there are a lot of opportunities for our graduates in the Diploma Drilling Rig Operations. That's really, really good to know. Yes. Anila, what about persons who are wondering, am I a good fit for mm -hmm. this diploma? What mm -hmm. do you think they should consider in determining which diploma to uh, pursue? Um, what well, would make, I guess what I'm asking is, what would make a good student in your program? Okay, so any, I always say the best students are not necessarily the smartest students who have the highest grades, but most importantly, someone willing to learn and improve. Um, discipline is very important for this field and for this program, because we, at the end of it, they leave with a heightened sense of safety but they also have a lot of key, they learn about key responsibilities as well because it's a high risk job right you can't afford to make mistakes so if you're willing to learn and improve um, if you're highly disciplined and and if you are respectful because we train students um, to to respect everyone in the field right whether it be male or female and to follow instructions so that they could learn and they could also keep themselves safe. Okay, are there any specific maybe personality traits you think that are more likely to succeed or be feel more comfortable maybe in, in this field? Um, I would say those who ha like to have a balance between being on the field, doing practicals and being in a classroom. So I'm not saying you can't get it done if you're just, you know, you're, you're just, you're good at your theory and you're not good at practical because everything takes practice. But those who are willing to adapt to change and likes to take on um, a challenge, those are the ones better adapted to this field. Anila, are there any funny moments or memorable moments that you could recall from your classes that you want to share? Um, there are so many memorable moments. I won't say too much fun because we tend to be a bit strict when we are on the rig, especially because like I said, we want to minimize those mistakes, those horse playing. However, a very memorable event would have been a few years back. Um, the Delta State Nigerian students attended the Drilling Academy and I had the um, great opportunity to teach them and we organized a football match for them where the students, the Nigerian Delta State students played against the Trinidadian Drill and Rig Operation students and it was a bit of fun, a blending of cultures um, it was nice to see that camaraderie and that excitement from two different cultures about blending together. Did the home team win or did the foreign team get lucky? Yes, the, the, the Nigerian Delta State students did in fact win the trophy. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's all right, that's yes. all right. We just let them win, you know, because we're <laughs> hospitable like that, right? <laughs> Yeah. All right, Anil, I want to thank you for chatting with us today. Are there any last words that you'd like to share with a student that might be on the edge trying to decide if to apply? Um, I would say there are a number of reasons that you should apply for this program, because at the end of it, you're going to have, you're going to learn so many things. You're going to have a heightened sense of safety in the workplace and in any environment that you work in. You're going to learn about all the rig installations and systems. You're going to learn how to read rig schematics or even be versed in geological analysis, learning how to use power tools, hand tools, you name it. So it's uh, a lot of things that you develop and makes you very unique and makes you stand out from anyone else, basically, in, in, in the other programs that you do. 
So I should say, if you're a student who's, like I said, disciplined, you're willing to adapt to change and you're willing to be the best student, put your best foot out there, you should apply to, for the Drill and Rig Operations Program. All right, you heard it from Anila. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us. You're and most welcome. It was a pleasure. Same here. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining us on this episode of Chomp Start. Head over to the description box below and click on the link where you can get more information about the program and apply. If you have any questions at all, just slide into our DMs on Facebook or Instagram. We'll be happy to answer any and all questions that you have. Until next time, stay safe and bye for now.